This is about how to balance um, school and soccer, especially in college. But obviously, this applies to high school. I'll take this well. one if you want me to. Well, I mean, you balance <laughs> school and other stuff. I don't balance soccer. But um, uh, basically, I think one of the biggest things is like uh, it's all about. I think there's a couple things on how to the best ways to balance it. I'll give you three right off the bat. Number one is you have to realize that it's hard. I mean, in college, it, there's no way around it. If you want to be good in soccer and have a D1 scholarship and play and perform, and you also want to get good grades and not get kicked out of the school and you know set yourself up a backup plan, it's going to be a lot of work because both those require 20, 30 hours a week. Mm -hmm. So you need to understand that you have to put in, what, 40, 60 hours a week of work. So it's going to be more than a full-time job. Yeah. And so like a lot of people don't understand. They think it's some secret and that they will be able to still play five hours of video games or watch TV all Sunday. And you got to realize it's like, no, if you want that, you got to realize you got to sacrifice all that free time that you want because every student athlete has very little free time, every single one. So right off the bat, you have to realize it's going to be a grind and it's hard. So there's no easy way around it. So I'm not these tips, even the this first tip is not like, oh, this is how to make it easier. The first tip is it's freaking hard and you have to understand that. Number two, for sure, is um, I'm a big believer in like the 80-20 principle. And actually, I have this as a talking point in today's video, which I'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. But the 80-20 principle, it's like 80% of your success or your results or anything, your business comes from just 20% of your efforts. So realize that if you have a math test, and this was something huge and in, in for me for math tests. You've been so good at this. It's like the math test, you know, they'll talk about the final the teacher will even say half the test is going to be on chapter 13. But the whole test is going to cover one chapters 1 through 13. I would spend all my time on chapter 13 memorizing yeah, that. Yeah, you've been like that's back to the studying thing. Like you're so good at knowing what to spend your time on because yeah. I would be the person that go, "Okay, I'm going to start with chapter 1 yeah. and then go to 13 <laughs> like so I can learn everything." Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like And then you're like, "No, I'm going to actually learn what I need to learn." Give I'm me like, yeah, Whoa. the meat. I just I don't care about 1 through 12. Just give me the meat. And then after that I spend 8 hours on that. I'll spend 3 or 4 covering 1 through 12. And so it's like that. And the same with soccer. Is it going to be worth going to this gym session today that you want to get on yourself and having like an arm day, you know, sometimes. And I'm not going to say I never have arm day. I have a fun arm day. But like what's going to help you more besides the single arm cable tricep extension is to hit the big compound workouts, the big compound movements, the high intensity interval training that's mm -hmm. really going to help you so much. And you can crush it. You know, if you go and you go to the gym and you do 20 minutes of high intensity interval sprints on the treadmill and then you do five sets of really good heavy squats and then you do some really good jumping plyometric box jumps and some other stuff for legs. That's going to be so much better than you trying to just do single leg like calf raises and spending all this well, time. Well, see, it's all about then you're saying it's just the efficiency of your time. You have to make your time more efficient. Well, that's the 80-20 well, yeah. principle because then you focus on the 20% of exercises, the 20% of your studies, the 20% of everything that's going to give you 80% of your results. Yeah, you just have to make it count. Yeah, and so it's the same like that's how I do school and soccer. And then I'd say the last tip is always be working to get ahead. Like uh, never procrastinate. Like I was always, my whole idea was like, I'm going to start, you know, with the hardest thing first, my workouts, get the wall of my workouts, the training, everything done in the morning. Then I go to my classes. Then um, I would finish, go home and get ahead on my paper, you know, three or four hours. And so I'd be trying to go as fast as possible, get as much as work done so that I would have 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. free. And I would just work and so I'm getting everything out of my day so I have those last two hours to enjoy. And I feel like so many people start enjoying time early in the morning or in the middle it's of the delayed day. delayed gratification. Yeah. It's like, do, get it all. Because I can't even relax if I know I still have a paper due. I have to be like, I'm going to finish this paper so that even tomorrow I can re relax. Yeah. I, interestingly enough, in college... I actually did better and in life actually like I actually do better and I'm more efficient and I think I am more productive when I have more on my plate yeah I'm, because like sure. if you like let yourself get lazy like there were some semesters in college where I only took like three classes and I found myself slacking off so much because mm -hmm. you don't really have much to do all day like your homework's way more spaced out you only have like one class two classes a day yeah you can work out when you want. And I found that I did worse in those classes than like my last semester because I graduated early. So I wanted to cram it all in. I took like five four unit classes. So yeah. five huge classes or six or something like insane. Like I took like 21 units or something. I didn't have one spare minute of my life yeah. that whole quarter. And 
I got the best GPA I'd ever gotten, ever. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Like way better than when I had like all the time in the world. There's, so a lot of times like you can use it to your advantage, you know, like just. There's a quote that says, if you want to get something done, give it to a busy man. Yeah. Because he'll, he'll get it done. He'll get it done. Because yeah. if you have too, it's, it's like if you have too much time on your hands. Yeah. Like you, you get lazy. Because yeah, you're like, you, you literally, you're, the mindset goes, I have five free days until this is due. Yeah. So I guess you wait till day five. Yeah. Versus if you're busy, you're like, look, I know I have only 30 minutes tonight to work on something because tomorrow I'm completely booked. The next day is a little bit free. I maybe could do two hours. So then you're going to crunch it in there. Yeah. And no, that's the same so for true. in finals week. We would get, you know, finals week, you get um, the week off of training uh, with team training, team workouts, everything. So you can focus on finals. But I would still do, I would do an individual or team training, uh, like a small group training session every single day of the week. And I would and also work out, do a gym workout four or five days of the week during finals week. And all my teammates were like, I, you, you're working out? You're doing all this like during finals week? I'm like, yeah, because if I do this, when I don't work out, when I don't have these things in my day, I literally do the same thing. I sleep in. I'm like, I got all day to study. Yeah, you get lazy. Versus if I do these workouts, do this stuff, I realize my day's starting to cut short mm-hmm. and I'm more focused on my time. Yeah, so I'm exactly the same. That's way. that I think is the main tips. I'm sorry if this bell in the background, you guys hear this. Yeah, on I don't podcast. think you can hear a, that. They're doing some stupid. <laughs> it's just ringing a bell out there. It's like a combination of a jackhammer and a church bell. It's just some what idiot. Is it? He's just having fun. We, they put <laughs> digging the bell. <laughs> they put just some stupid guy on the bell out there. Yeah. Hey, Glenn, just you know, just ring it. Just have fun today. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so for tips on how to be successful in, in balancing soccer and school. That's it. Realize it's hard. Use every moment wisely. Yeah. Realize it's going to be hard and that there's no, that Mm -hmm. you're going to have very little free time. Focus on the stuff that's going to give you the best, the most results, the best results with the most little effort, the 80, 20 principle. And then, um, expect, you know, be busy, always be working on something. Try to like set yourself up delayed gratification that you want to have your rest day tomorrow. So get everything, everything done today. Mm -hmm.